Are you just doing those the width of the uh, ruler? No, just uh, just different thicknesses, not too thick, just okay. thick enough. Maybe about the size of two rulers, width of two rulers. And water out. And depending on what you're going to do, you might want to do an oval-like shape around the form. Um, you might have a piece that's more, and I'm just going to, for the convenience, I'm just going to stick it right on here. Uh, where it is. Uh, basically, you're going to take the clay, and if you want to take it like this, and like a coil pot, if you remember in um, the coil making class, you rolled out your coils. Well, this is these are flat coils. Okay, and, uh, you're going to just build up a piece like this. And I didn't roll out long enough pieces of clay, so I'm just going to take it from the front end and just show you basically um, right here. We can either apply our clay like this on top of one another, like on, just like this, or we can also take it like this and build up our coils in this fashion. We're overlaying like this. Splice it in. Now the only thing is, if you do it like this, and we keep our edges more exposed, which I kind of like, it's more, we can, again, soften up our edges so they're not so rough looking. We can also tear our edges too. The clay doesn't have to be cut with a uh, pin tool. So you can just rip the clay like this. See how it creates more of a distressed looking edge, okay? Um, so we take this, we can also slam it down on the table, stretch it out a little bit more. We can take the tools here and give yourself a little bit more of a texture around here. Come back around here, we'll clean up this edge here. No, you can actually smooth the inside out just like you would normally with a regular coil pot. Take your tool and just smooth out the inside. Now I got one piece back here. I should probably fill this one hole out in back. Just grab a piece here real fast. For you guys that are basically working with your uh, your front slab, you remember your metal ribs are really important for you to work with, with smoothing out your surfaces, letting the clay connections together where you don't see them. 
or adding clay to the surface to give you more a smooth surface, okay? So you should really rely more on some of your tools if you need to clean up some of your stuff. Okay, we're just going to take this. Blend it all in here. Well, depending on what you're doing, if you want to bring it out, or we want to move it further out. So stretch it out. Stretch it out. It's almost like working on the wheel, it looks like. Basically, that's what I'm basically doing. It's just I'm turning the clay around. That's if we're going to keep our edges. If we want it smooth, we lay it on top of one another and we mm -hmm. want it in really nice with our rhythm. Want to create some kind of designs in the clay itself as a distressed, more of a distressed look piece. And that edge up a little bit better down through here. Basically take it. And it's a little soft, just take your hair dryer and stuff. But as you can see, we're getting some pretty good height onto this. Again, you can have different bands, different thicknesses of bands. I don't really care. Um, you can have texture on one of the strips. You can have texture on the whole, you know, on each band, different textures. Okay. Create more oval. Squeeze it in like this. Yeah. Let's move up the inside. some of the white clay coming through. Ooh. 
Put some slip in there, obviously, and then you would bend the curl around here. See how you like it? Clean it up. Then when, it, when, you, when everything's said and done, you have the Pencil, you want to go higher? You want to go wider? It's your decision. You want to bring it back in? Make it more like a bottle shape? You guys are free. This actual this piece here is a slab built piece right here. It's done in sections. Only thing you can get this is actually uh, smoothed out really nice. Okay? Um, you lose all sense of any kind of connection. So I want you to think about what you might be doing uh, for the project. Um, it can be one of them can actually be real smooth, like this one, this another one could be left really kind of more, you know, where you see the strips added and built up like that. So you guys uh, would like to see at least two of them. Uh, uh,